Pablo Neruda said that a child who does not play is not a child, but an adult who does not play has forever lost the child within him. Well, we found over the years that that play is such an important part of a child's development. Um, and within each of us, there lies a little bit of a child that just uh, that wants to learn in this very um, hands-on way. And uh, one of the great organizations here in Polk County that really works to develop children and their learning skills uh, is Explorations 5. Uh, here to talk to us about uh, some of their new exhibits and things going on at their place is Sue Schulander. Um, she is the Education Operations Director there. We also have Claudine Humber. Mm -hmm. um, she is the Education Coordinator at Explorations 5. And special guest with us today is Jafar Curry. Jafar, tell me a little bit about your experience there. What do you, what do you think of the place? I think it's very fun. What kind of things do you get to do when you're at, at Explorations 5? Well, we have a new exhibit. It's really cool because it's like a TV and you can see yourself. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like here, when you, look at, when you look at the TV screens here, you see that, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's part of our new Chagall exhibit. Okay. And you actually tell them that you could put a cape on that has some of the colors that are in the painting, and then you kind of back up into the painting, so you kind of hopefully disappear oh, into the painting. Oh, that is so cool. Have you done that? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really work on me. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? The cape doesn't fit you right? Is that? Uh, the, some of the capes are too big. Some of the capes are too small. But that's all part of learning how to how to work it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, Sue, um, the children's uh, Explorations 5, the Children's Museum, um, has been around for quite a while. Tell us a little bit about the history of, of the museum. Um, we've been around for about 20 years. It was started by several couples who had been to a children's museum in another city and came home and said, we need to have one of these right here at home. So they gathered other people, um, moms, other teachers, people who are interested in children and families, and got together and we met for quite a few months before we actually found a place and then worked together to uh, remodel it. It was an old storefront, mm -hmm. so we had to take out the things that were there and build the exhibits that we started with, and that was about 20 years ago. And of course you're talking about right there in uh, downtown Right in downtown Lakeland. Lakeland, and then about 12 years ago we actually moved down the street, just one block, mm -hmm. and we were in the old um, uh, uh, courthouse annex building. We bought that from the county and we're able to remodel that. So now we have four floors of exhibits and programs. So we're really excited about that. And what a wonderful facility it is. Um, you know, I've been there on many occasions now and, and just every time I go in, even for some of your special fundraiser events mm -hmm. and things like that, it's so it's so nice to see, to actually get to see how the kids are working and and we learning. Have a great time. And we brought some today. Would you like to try? Absolutely. Let's let's All take right. a look at what you got here. Our newest exhibit we have is a traveling exhibit called Chagall for Children. It's based on the works of um, the artist Mark Chagall. One of his paintings is called The Blue House. Okay. And it's a it's a normal, you know, you see the background and everything, but the house that's very prominent in the front of it is a blue house. So we brought along some of the pieces um, from the exhibit. There are 14 um, um, different components in this exhibit, and each one takes a painting of his and some way transforms it into a hands-on activity for kids. Okay. So this one, the blue house, is to take these, what look like they might have been Lincoln Logs, right, yeah, and build with them and make your own blue house. So you told me earlier that you uh, used to build with Lincoln Logs, I so have. let's see what you can do. Now I might need a little bit of help from Jafar here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You guys put a house together here? All right. We are now having... you've probably done this before, haven't you? Yeah, I've so Let's see. My friend Jeremy. So what do we start with? We think, I think when me and Jeremy started, we started with the top. Okay. Hmm. The top. That's the roof? Or what? the bottom with the floor? I think we might have to use the bottom first. What do you think these pieces are? The bottom. The bottom. Right, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, we might even move these out of the way. Let's see. Let's go here like right. this. Oh, here we go. Look at here. Mm. You really meant it when you said works. you could. And then you're going to put that one there. The great <laughs> thing about the Children's Museum is whatever we have, you can use it however you want. So yep. 
So then we build the floor out. Is that what we're doing here? Build the floor. And here's one more. I need one okay. more in there. And then so there are enough pieces in this exhibit for several children to build at one time. And there's also, um, as I said, other th some touchscreen computers. There's a weaving one. There's one with music. You can think about what kind of music each um, piece of art makes you think of. Yeah. Uh, several things for them to do. Um, and it's very, very easy to adapt to different ages. There's some with Velcro pieces so you can put things together and they just stick very easily. Um, there's some rubbings that you can do. There's one flower arranging exhibit that has a smell component to it, mm -hmm. um, which we love because we're five senses. That's what our five comes right. from. So we've got things for all five senses. Now with the Chagall, with the Chagall exhibit, um, you had mentioned there were some other elements to it. It's not just you know, a small, I mean, it, it's kind of a traveling thing, right? It's a traveling exhibit that we have rented. Um, and we will have it through the middle of the summer. Okay. Uh, our grand opening will be, as I said, at the Children's Festival that morning. Um, and then it will be open. I mean, it's open right now to the public, but it will be open then. That'll be our, our big uh, flourish, I guess, our big, our big grand opening yeah. will be that day. Now, Claudine, let's talk a little bit about the festival because this is a big event for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about it. Well, um, we are definitely showcasing our new exhibit, the Chagall exhibit, but also we have uh, lots of hands-on activities for the children. We have some really great performances. Um, Wing Chun Downtown Kung Fu, they're coming to do a martial arts demonstration, and they're offering um, a one-week free uh, for anyone who said they heard about us, heard about them through the Children's Festival. Uh, we have Just Dance Academy, they're, they're coming out again to do a performance. And we have Suzuki's uh, Children's Violin and Guitars, which i um, excited about them returning to the Children's Festival. They have um, violinists as young as age two who will be performing at the Children's Festival, wow. so that's exciting. Uh, we have cloggers coming from Mamie's uh, clogging over here in <laughs> I've Bartow. Seen them, I've seen them perform before. What a, what a hoot. I mean, yeah. they, it is so fun to watch. Yeah. If you've never had the chance to see cloggers, it's worth coming out for, just just for that. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm sorry. So, and they'll be doing three routines at the Children's <gasps> Festival, so oh, I'm great. excited about that. And we have a uh, Kathleen dance team. They're coming out. Um, also, Art in Motion <laughs> Academy of Dance. So. Yeah, we have some really great performances lined up and hope to see you all there. And that's then we're going to end the day with um, Matt Edmonds' Wonders of Nature show. So that'll be at 2 o'clock that yeah. day. It'll be a great fun yeah. time. Live animals and uh, he'll be talking about how to take care of the animals and it's going to be a lot of fun. Now I know with the Children's Museum, obviously you guys have you know your sources of funding and but you also have volunteers and, and people that help with these yes. special events yes things. especially the children's festival we rely on the community we have um, teachers from different schools we have businesses and organizations that work with children and families and they provide volunteers and some of the activities um, to come out and, and provide that for the community. so if somebody wanted to get involved with uh, the children's museum on a volunteer basis how would they how would they do they that? could either check our website our volunteer application is on the website or they could call us at the museum okay. Um, we are always looking for volunteers. We have a lot of teen volunteers that we use throughout the year and during the summer. Um, and hopefully we'll have some college volunteers also. We go to the college volunteer fairs. So we've contacted all of them and uh, invited them to come to the Children's Festival and help us out. So. And, and just, to, just as a you know, recap, you know, the summer is the summer's coming up. And, of course, you know, that's kind of your big, big time yes. for your program, right? Yes, when, when, uh, when school is out, we are in. <laughs> so uh, we'll have nine weeks of summer camp. We have two different camps. One is a storybook camp that Claudine works with, with our four and five-year-olds. And then we have our adventure camp, which is for our older kids. Uh, we have camp from nine to five, Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. um, starting the Monday after school gets out. And we go through the summer. So now is definitely the time to get signed up for those summer Should programs. Should get, get started. Yeah, we have a different theme each week, and so our activities go along with those themes, and we work through. You know, right there. I have one more activity for children's oh, festival too. Oh, yeah, let's do it. All right, mm -hmm. this one is um, stomp rockets. We do have a, a teacher from a local school who's coming. If you want to start working on your rocket here, you just need to trim around here. I brought the scissors here. It's my favorite uh, part. Yes, and then we'll build the rocket launch pad here, just just all the way around the whole oh, thing. That's all the way. Also one, okay. yeah, all the way around. And we're going to build our launch pad here. Maybe we could, Jafar, you want to help me move these off of here? We'll build our launch pad up here, up here, and then we can put it down and uh, 
called a stomp rocket for a reason because our launch power comes from stomping. All right, Jafar, are you ready here? Here's our centerpiece right here. Yep. Yep. All right, this goes in one side there. It's going to be one of our Did feet. Did it right here? Yep, just slide it in there. All right, and this one goes on the other side, right across from it, this way. There you go. All right, almost done trimming. Damn, it goes fast. There we go. All right, and then if you want to take it and roll it around this too, right here, just kind of loosely. And then I've got some tape here to... You got them in there? Okay. Look at that, it's like a perfect, perfect size for the tube. Okay, all right. And then... Just tape this the whole way along the side and seal it up good, is that? Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. This is, this is where our rocket's gonna launch off of. Man, this is gonna be Pretty cool. neat, huh? This is gonna be cool. Mm -hmm. Guess who we get to stomp on. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. See how much air is in there? That's going to give us all of our jet power. Oh, jet I didn't propulsion. seal mine up very good here. I missed a spot. Oh, dear. Got to make sure all that air is sealed off, right? That's right. And then you're going to slide it off. Oh. Right, Arts and crafts were never really my specialty. All right, so. slide it off then. <laughs> and then you want to fold down your top there. And all right, Jafar, here's your last piece right here. Just fold on the line. One. Got that. Two. All right, and then this is going to go on here like that. This is our... How could they stomp on it? Well, we're going to put it on the floor. Look at that. Okay. All right, you got it? All right, my rocket is ready it. here. His rocket let's is ready. This. Can we move that table over there? And <laughs> we got to just right, be careful Jafar. where it's going to aim. You're so. going to do the honors, right? Let's see how good <laughs> I did this. Let's get that on there. All right, there we go. Ready? All right, everybody look Are out. Ready? Two, three. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that was exactly. such a hole in our ceiling. Nice. Oh. I think we got to launch backwards. All right, now you got to. We have to reinflate our launch pad here. So uh -oh. flow in right here, oh right here, right here. Gosh. Just, just <laughs> take, put your hand, just yeah, just like that. <laughs> blow it up. Hard, hard, hard. Come on. There you oh, go. There All, right. All right. Now we're ready to go again. All right. Let's see if we can. Now this time when we launch, though, we're gonna go backwards. Okay. How could we do it backwards? Five, four. Oh, the countdown. Oh. Countdown. You know how they do that when the rockets go off? You ready? Very Five, cool. Let's see if we can hit our cameraman. Four, no. three, three, two, two one. Blast off. off. Nice. Whoa. Look at that. You stole so hard. Awesome. It came apart. <laughs> Lots of fun. Nice we'll job, Jafar. But we will have, I'm sure they'll have more than one launch pad there, and we'll have lots of rockets for uh, all the children who are interested, and that's the dads true. probably, too, yeah. uh, to be able to launch Well, rockets. that's so much fun. And so. just, I mean, just having fun right here in, in the studio, I can only imagine <laughs> what these kids are doing with four floors of, of just great yes. fun and learning, um, you know, Children's, children's mm -hmm. Museum, mm -hmm. Explorations mm -hmm. 5, mm -hmm. what a wonderful wonderful place for kids. Yes, mm -hmm. we enjoy it. With and adults too. Yes, that's right. true. We, we try and, and make sure that um, we really would like the adults to play with the children. They, they learn, mm -hmm. learn that way. and Let the kids lead the way, but the, the adults to, to play along with them. Well, this has been great. It's always a pleasure having you guys on and um, so much fun when you come in and bring all your toys <laughs> with you. <laughs> Jafar, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It was fun having you here today. Mm -hmm. You have fun too? Yes. <laughs> Thanks guys. You're welcome. It's Explorations 5 Children's Museum right there in Lakeland. Um, what a wonderful place. They've got their summer uh, activities coming up. You want to sign up for their summer programs. Uh, it's really easy. They've also got their, uh, their big children's festival coming up. So it's, it's very simple to get in touch with them. Just give them a call um, at 863-687-3869. Or you can visit their website at explorationsv.com. The Children's Festival is uh, going to be going on April 12th. That's a Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And um, it's going to be right there at their location on uh, Kentucky Avenue in Lakeland.